In this study, we developed an antibody that was designed to block an important protein in the blood called von Willebrand factor, which is important in normal blood clotting, but it is also involved in the development of dangerous blood clots that cause heart attacks and stroke. And so our approach was to first identify the biological differences between normal blood clotting and pathological blood clotting, and found that von Willebrand factor changes its properties when dangerous blood clots are forming. So next we engineered an antibody that only detects and blocks this pathological form of von Willebrand factor and is therefore only active when a blood clot becomes pathological. To achieve our goal, we analyzed the properties of existing antibodies against VWF and identified optimal properties of each that would bind and block VWF under physiological blood clotting conditions. We then combined these optimal molecular structures into a new antibody to generate a first-in-class drug candidate that has the potential to stop dangerous blood clots without any adverse effects such as bleeding complications. So this is important because current therapies that aim to prevent dangerous blood clots remain to this day rather ineffective. In fact, four out of five patients that receive antiplatelet therapy still have recurring cardiovascular events. And the reason for this is that existing therapies block certain components or cells in the blood that cause dangerous blood clots, but by doing so, it also interferes with normal blood clotting, which can lead to severe bleeding complications. And so clinicians face a delicate balance of drug efficacy versus bleeding side effects. Our antibody is purposely designed to not interfere with normal blood clotting, so it can be used at a much higher and effective dose compared to existing therapies. The next step will be to test the efficiency of our antibody in small animal models. As the drug is only interacting with human blood, we need to use a humanized animal model. We are planning to do that with collaborators in America that have recently developed such a unique model. If these studies are successful, we will approach pharmaceutical companies to support clinical trials.